Back everyone, a coffee shop in South Jersey with a unique business model is about to celebrate its first anniversary. Breaking grounds in Mount Holly is creating jobs for people who are rarely given the chance to showcase their skills. I'm News reporter Trang Doe is here now with more. Trang. Hey, good morning, guys. On the surface, it looks like a cozy neighborhood coffee spot, and it is. But it's also a nonprofit run by the Zephyr Foundation, an organization with a very important mission of inclusion. Beautiful. In a world with no shortage of coffee shops. Good morning. How are you? How are you? How are you? Breaking ground in Mount Holly manages to live up to its name. For Brandy Fishman, it was very much uncharted territory. And before you started this, did you know anything about coffee? Um, I like to consume it. <laughs> That's why she made sure to get her favorite coffee shop on board. Harvest Coffee Roastery in nearby Medford not only supplies the beans, but trains the staff. The entire community has really rallied around us to make sure that we're successful. But why would one business offer to help a potential competitor? It's a simple reason that goes deeper than profits. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> the heart of this business isn't coffee. It's people like Kristen Haney. 414 is your team. Kristen is an exceptional employee who just so happens to have a developmental disability, like many of her co-workers at Breaking Grounds. I can probably count on one hand the amount of call-outs we've had in the last year. So they really do take their job very seriously. Kristen gives her all to the job and in return gets just as much back. It makes me feel good and like I'm able to do stuff myself to have money and to be around people. It's that emphasis on people that turns first-time customers into regulars, though a quality product helps too. Actually, I came in just because I wanted to support a local business. Now I'm addicted to the coffee. I didn't like coffee before this. <laughs> in the middle of the quaint Mill Race Village, a coffee novice inspired by her own daughter, who is multiply disabled, managed to craft the perfect blend of compassion and opportunity. Can you take these down to the sink? Yes, I can. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. A lot of our regular customers come in and they say that it's like, it's soul cleansing. That's a cup of coffee that will make you feel really good. If you're going to spend a dollar, why don't you do both? Get what you need and help somebody else out. Have a nice day. And Breaking Ground sells more than just coffee. Here's a look at the art on the walls. All the artwork is for sale and is created by young artists with disabilities. Now, the art is so popular that the Zephyr Foundation's next venture will be an art gallery called the Zephyr Art Alliance. So stay tuned for that. And to find out more about the Zephyr Foundation and how you can help, visit our website, cbsphilly.com. This is like great. be a really great experience. Not only do you get good coffee, you can take a look at the artwork, enjoy the ambiance, the people. It's great. Yeah, I was like pushing for a live shot there yeah. today so I can get some coffee. But, <laughs> you know, it's a great atmosphere. Thank you, Trang, for story. sharing a great story.